All right, I man. Let's talk about the me. Let's talk about uh, my bad. Keith Thurman calling out Earl Spence. Ugas winner. Ugas Earl Spence going to uh, going to Showtime. We'll start off with them going to Showtime. Uh, so Showtime apparently outbid uh, Fox for this fight. And I remember with uh, Steven Espinosa was. Uh, they released the uh, Thurman and Barrios prelim numbers. Uh, here you go real quick. Give me a second. The prelim, not the pay-per-view numbers. And the prelims is come from Nielsen, Nielsen Medium. Thurman, Barrios, Fox prelim prior to pay-per-view averaged 963,000 viewers and peaked at 1,067,000, uh, 1,076,000 viewers. So here you go right there. That's not the pay-per-view number. That's the prelim. Somebody gonna take the wrong information and run off with it. Um, I got a lot of stories since last night. Here we go. So, Uga Showtime, Spence Uga Showtime to distribute pay per view fight April 16th, AT&T Stadium. So, I mean, here you go right then and there. Uh, so, so that's something that uh, the people been kind of, you know. People assumed that it was going to go on Fox. And Steven Espinosa had an interview with Ness from the Boxing Voice. And uh, they mentioned that... Uh, they, he had mentioned that, you know, Ness was saying it seemed like Fox was getting all the best fights and they was outbidding uh, Showtime. And Espinosa basically told him that they had deeper pockets and that, you know... Um, and that, you know, he told him that, bro, basically hold on and you hold on to wait. And you will see. And pretty much that's kind of uh, that's kind of what actually happened. <laughs> he, you know, he forecast that a couple years ago and it looked like they was, lo they was losing the big fights to Fox. And now everybody coming back to Showtime. Showtime is the for show money. Showtime, you know, they money, they interest don't pink. It is what it is. And now the Showtime, you know, PBC probably in their last fourth year, if last and fourth year with, with Fox, they haven't got an extension yet. Um, Espinosa still top dog. That's something that everybody ain't talk about. Espinosa still the top dog. Still doing his thing. Espinosa still the top dog. And Showtime, you know, it's everything is temporary. Like you know, everything being on free TV, it always it all in the back. On Showtime, in the back on pay per view, you know. Um, so, you know, that's something for for everybody to look at. But it says that uh, Showtime will distribute the high profile premier boxing champion pay per view fight. Fox Sports executive initially believed they would televise. Boxing scene has learned that Showtime will handle production and marketing of the Errol Spence Jr. and Ordinus Ugas fight April 16th for Arlington, Texas. Spence 27 no 21 KOs. Of the Soto, Texas, and Cuban born uh, Miami based Ugas 27 and 4, 12 knockouts, will fight for Spence's IBF WBC titles and Ugas WBA Bill at ATT Stadium, the home venue of the NFL Dallas Cowboys. Showtime previously, I'll be at Fox for the right to distribute Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant super middleweight title unification fight, which Alvarez won by 11 round technical knockout November 6 at MGM, Gym, MGM Grand Garden. Arena in Las Vegas. Since then, Showtime has distributed Javante Davis, Easton Cruz pay per view. That's not going to change to the Floyd fight. December 5th, Fox televised Ortiz and Charles Martin pay per view show January 1st. And Keith Thurman Barrios pay per view uh, event this past Saturday. Fox distributed each of Spence's past three victories. Fights victories over Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, all headline pay per view events. Showtime. Tell about each of Spence's previous three fights uh, win against Carol Brook, Lamont Peterson, Kyle Campo live on premium cable channels. Um, Al Heyman PBC has output deals with Fox Sports and Showtime. Fox Sports picks up its fourth option on PBC late last year at a re reduced rate for license fees. As a part of the option, Fox will televise fewer PBC cards overall on free TV and its basic cable channel uh, FS1. So they said fewer. So I told you they pull the funding. So. They get ready to get out the deal. Get they might I think they might do some more deal PVC. Or they're gonna do something else. Could be a TV show, could be bringing another sport in there, however, whatever. 
So Showtime with Slight Boxing Scene, like Boxing.com, is owned by Viacom. CBS continues to televise at least one uh, Showtime Championship boxing card per month. Also, it has regular installments of its long-running prospects here, Showbox and New Generation. Next year, yeah, New Generation. PBC, Showtime have regressively pursued Alvarez for return engagement with those two companies for a Mexican superstar next fight, which took, could take place May 7th. And four division champion chose to stay. Uh, if he chose to stay with PBC and Showtime, he would have fought Floyd Fight WC middleweight champion Jamal Charlo, 32 0, 22 big one, in his next fight at 168 pounds. Boxing has confirmed, however, that Alvarez is serious, 50, 57 1 2, is seriously considering accepting two fight deal already. You already know that, okay. So, for the most part, it seems like Showtime bag continues to reign supreme. Seems to be more consistent. Um, and like I said, Fox, you know, they show, they show, they basically they tapering off. Fox picked up the fourth year deal, so they probably to figure out how to replace that program. That's all it is. It could be with a TV show like uh, like Fox did. It could be with the, I mean, like HBO did. It could be with uh, a new sport. Um, or bringing over PFL, or bringing or trying to cut the deal with UFC and Fox and all that, and doing some other content, or you know, I don't know what it could be. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not in the, uh, I'm not in the uh, in the room, but you know, you got to find a way to replace that program. That could be with just doing buying licensing fees to to new movies. It could, it could be a number of things. It could be with a number of things. So. Uh, you know, honestly, that's that's up to them to figure out what the, how they're gonna replace that, or they could bring boxing all back together. They could do a deal with Eddie Hearn, you know, put some boxing on there. It could go back to Kathy Duba and do something like on NBC or something like that, like NBC did. So they got they got options. You know what I'm saying? They could sign. Um, they could do another uh, another conference. They can probably try to do some Mac stuff or whatever. So it's a number of ways they could fill that program. But you have to buy the fees and print, like you said here, like you read an article we read. They're reducing, they're reducing the licensing fees, they're reducing the, the number of free cars. So, like I said before, man, when you don't deliver the budget, the PBC budget too high for Pete for Fox. And then if the Keith Thurman fight didn't break even, you know, or they barely broke even, don't nobody really eat. You didn't really make no money. So, like I said before, now Heyman Burn Viacom is the only one, Viacom CBS, which is Showtime, Nickelodeon, et cetera, they're the only ones backing them. So could he go on the Paramount Plus app? Could. Can he go back to buying TV time? Could. <laughs> you know, and he just boxing is literally becoming pay per view. That's what it's becoming. You know, and he a big star. We we'll see. He must be doing something because everybody want to be a part of it. Or if they want to be a part of it, it's because it's, it's it's the most attractive thing going so far that PBC got. And if you look at Showtime's in numbers historically, it ain't good. It ain't good. We talked about it a little bit last night. I'm probably eventually get to a video another day on it, but it ain't good. They say he fought Lamont Peterson. It's been a while since he fought on there. This is what it takes to get the P uh, pay per view now. This is what it takes to get on pay per view. Only uh, average of six, 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 six hundred thirty-six thousand people watch this Lamont Peterson fight. Who are they peaked at six hundred and ninety-five thousand? Right, Kell Brook. That was in the middle of the afternoon. Dude, I really don't even want to count that because that was in the UK. We talk about the Kell Brook viewership, two hundred ninety-one thousand. It peaked at three hundred thirty-seven thousand. Right. You talk about uh, Ocampo. I'm just talking about regular receiver. T T uh. Showtime fights that he did. People always like to bring up the Bundu fight. That was right up in the gold medal round. He did average of 683,000 people and peaked at 726,000 on Showtime. Bro, these dudes are not even reaching a million homes on premium cable. That's why Earl should have been built up on Fox. They should have just bought time on Fox, NBC, and did like Wilder did. Wilder's the only fighter that's reaching a million viewerships on Showtime. You know, and, and his first pay per view did 300 some thousand. He only did good the second time because of the he cheated type of situation, all the fanfare around there. So you can't build nobody up on premium network no more because it doesn't have a platform like HBO Showtime. If HBO came back tomorrow, Showtime would still be the little brother. 
And that's a fact. Showtime will continue to be LeBron. Showtime don't have enough subscribers to build no fighters on. That's a fact. It's closed circuit, in my opinion. Limited number of people can watch these dudes man. Closed circuit. So it ain't even enough people viewing them for them to even think about going on pay-per-view. It's not enough people. And then, you know, 630,000, 700,000 get you on pay-per-view. Bro, HBO and they heyday was doing way triple, seven times, six times the numbers that uh, they doing on Fox. If no, if not, if people not seeing you, you know, come up, you're not fighting on accessible TV consistently, you get these dull pay-per-view numbers. This dude should still be fighting on regular Showtime, his numbers say. He should never be a star. You can't get a million people to tune in on your fight on Showtime. It says a lot. And I don't know what they Ray Donovan numbers looking like, stuff of that nature. Can't tell you. But these dudes ain't pay-per-view work. Wilder did a million. He, you know, he still didn't get a million on Showtime. You talking about the numbers that, you know, uh Roy Jones probably used to do on there, which I don't even know. You know, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. But um, you know, back in the day, used to do five, six million on HBO per night. Seven million. You know, that's kind of was the beginning of the end for accessibility of boxing. When they went and they took everything and put it on pay-per-view and took it to premium television, took Tuesday night, Friday night fights off and all that, and everything started going to the cable television, that's the end. You, every time you move it up the scale from regular TV to basic cable to premium cable to pay-per-view, you lose viewership. But all they're looking at is the dollar sign, but let's move on. Keep Thurman, you know, calls out Ugas suspense winner. He said Ugas hashtag Ugas suspense is a great fight. Um, champion versus champion, two top dogs fighting for the top spot. I think Spence has Ugas on power, but I, Ugas has a good defensive spacing. I look forward to this one and would love to face the winner later this year. May the best man win. So he already, we talked about last night, he said he want to fight. He possibly could fight the winner in November, December. He want to fight in between that, but we know how to fight dates go. They're reducing the fight dates on Fox. Showtime ain't doing a fight date. Uh, uh, they only doing a fight date a, a, a month. You know, that's not probably including, you know, all the show boxes and all that. So, like I said before, man, he ain't got, you know, ain't no, uh, you know, he got no choice but the way. Unless he's going to take less money. And if you take less money, it still may not be no space to get in where you fit in. <laughs> still may not be no space to get in where you fit in. And so, I mean, it is what it is. This is this is PBC, lack of dates and, and too much pride to, to work with other people and use their dates. This is PBC. And now he's letting you know what direction he's going in. You know, now if Crawford get in the ring, then we all go crazy. You know, Thurman get in the ring, it's like, okay. Some people say they're gonna they gonna start seeing him for the duck that he is. Oh. Um, Yes, what it is. So I did a video on Charlo earlier. They say they want to do Charlo plant at 68 because Charlo's having a bit of trouble making 60. So I don't know if they're going to do it next. I'm about to ask. So I don't know. They're going to put a 60, they're going to put a $70 price tag on that too. You know how I go. Y'all know the vibes. You know the PBC vibes. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's Keith Thurman just letting y'all know what's going on and um, how, how they playing it. I ain't even mad, bro. I ain't even mad. That is what it is. Because you already know you have expectations. You have expectations on how they how they going to play it and how they going to lay it. So, you know, we already know how, how, they, how, they, how, they, how they do their thing. Not even mad about it. We know exactly how they how they moving and what they doing and this, that, and the third. We both had this fight four or five years ago and it didn't happen. So that's just that's what they're doing. People love love to build up, they love the marination. 
they love stale fights. And the luck, lucky thing is him and Earl Spence on the same trajectory. Him and Earl Spence on the same trajectory as far as injuries and on the downslope of their career, been at 147 too long, this, that, and the third. So that is what it is. Check out the World 2 Way Boxing Playlist, Boxing News Playlist, Boxing World Playlist. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, all my social media description, Twitter's the fastest way to Facebook and Instagram. Uh, check the uh, news podcast we dropped today. I have some bonus content. Look at the explicit reading, uh, explicit rating for the bonus content. If you got kids in the car, but the regular content is just clean uh, for the most part. Spotify, Goodfellow TV podcast is free to join Spotify. We got Spotify, Goodfellow TV podcast. Anchor, Goodfellow TV podcast is free. You can listen to either one of those. Um, I put those, I spend those links in the uh, comment section to Earl's Convenience. Follow me on Twitter, follow the community tab. I drop them as soon as I upload them in the morning. I drop Anchor, then I drop Spotify first. So, uh, but other than that, man, appreciate the love and support. If you want to financially support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you got business question, choir response, or video question, listen to all the streams on Twitch as well. Goodfella underscore TV 313 on Twitch. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.